Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now that we're into November, we're starting to see all those Christmas toy commercials. And, you know, it occurred to me that one toy that never goes away is the Barbie doll. You know, Barbie dolls were the only girl toys that I liked as a kid. Not for the obvious reasons that I might be attracted to them, but it's because... <laughs> Barbie had such cool stuff. She was the original yuppie. She taught a generation about conspicuous consumption, and we learned very well. I went by a toy store yesterday to see if Barbie was still at it, and I wasn't disappointed. Although, she's a little more politically correct these days, if you'll notice. For example, this is animal-loving Barbie. Uh, obviously, ready for a trek in the jungle. This uh, gold... <laughs> Gold lame outfit here should keep the malaria away. And look, she's got her own panda under her arm. Well, that's, that's, that's great. She's taken a rare animal out of a tree. Uh, I guess the next, uh, the next edition will be Chinese prison Barbie. Well, <laughs> Ken, I know you're wondering about Ken. Ken is still around. And even when I was a kid, I knew Ken was just a lame, pretty boy. A any self-respecting kid used to have G.I. Joe come in and kick Ken's ass. <laughs> This uh, particular one looks like figure skating Ken or, <laughs> I don't know, Vegas lounge act Ken, but you can see here it's called My First Ken, but I'm guessing it was Midge's sixth or seventh Ken. <laughs> Midge, as you may remember, is Barbie's less attractive friend. Uh, she was made so Ken could come up to her and say, hey, who's your friend? <laughs> And Midge is also always Barbie's designated driver. And this is, uh, this is what Barbie drives. Barbie drives the Barbie Ferrari or the Barbie Porsche 911 Cabriolet. <laughs> now, does she really need this? Do you think kids would have minded if she had a LeBaron? Oh, no, Barbie wouldn't be caught dead in an American car. No, no. And who do you think bought it for? Probably the 45-year-old midlife crisis Ken. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, actually, maybe, maybe Barbie bought it herself because Barbie has a job now. She's in a band. You see, Barbie live in concert. See, she's got two black backup singers who are probably doing the lead vocals and not getting any credit on the album. <laughs> One thing's for sure, though, they've got to be better than Wilson Phillips. Uh. <laughs> Ken, you might be interested to know, Ken is a musician, too. Look, it's rapping Ken. <laughs> now, that's the real hardcore voice of the ghetto, isn't it? <laughs> His album's called Straight Out of Newport Beach. <laughs> well, look at this. It actually, it actually does make a noise if you... Here, listen. Sounds kind of like the almost live theme, but not as commercial. <laughs> All right. Well, here is the ultimate. Barbie for president. Well, <laughs> why not? Why not? <laughs> you know, what do you think? Ken for vice president? I think we already tried that, and it didn't work. <laughs> I'm guessing... I'm guessing this Ken might make a good first lady, though, so we'll keep them together. <laughs> keep buying those Barbies, and we'll be back right after this.